Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing well in your studies. Today's video is for the new aspirants for the entomology. That is list of books for the ICR jar of entomology. I am Bimal Kumar Sahu, currently pursuing PhD in Agricultural Entomology in TNA Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. So before going to the main content, I would like to welcome all the new aspirants for the ICR jar of entomology for the coming years. Okay. So before going to the main topic here, I would like to discuss about the disciplines that are coming under the entomology part. So there are the three different aspects for the entomology JRF. So first is entomology part, second is nematology part, and third is general agriculture part. So this entomology is considered as the major part, and this nematology and general agriculture is considered as the minor part. So mostly 70% is coming from the entomology and 30% is coming from the nematology and general agriculture part. So uh, <coughs> And another thing is the apiculture, sericulture, lab culture, and plant protection. So, what are these? Actually, for the entomology part, two different aspects are coming. One is the basic part, another is the applied part. So, under the basic part, another is morphology, taxonomy, physiology, IPM, and crop paste, toxicology, all things are coming on the basic part. For the applied part, these are the very very important part uh, for nowadays coming exams so many questions are uh, asked from this part one is one is the apiculture sericulture sericulture lyaculture insect vectors hpr okay and there is the arthropods rodents stored grain paste everything i will uh, discuss it in later in details okay so as i told you before the major subject is entomology for the minor subject one is nematology and all the applied part of the entomology so but you you have to remember first apart from entomology you have to always focus in this nematology part and general agriculture part because so many questions are coming from these things and without entomology without nematology and general agriculture part you cannot secure a good rank because this nematology and general agriculture part is the only main rank deciding factors if you will study good in nematology and general agriculture part apart from entomology also you can get a good rank in your icr jrf entomology otherwise it will be very impossible to get a to secure a good rank so these are the different uh, areas for this entomology part basically i will discuss all things about entomology only and the nematology part will be covered by other people so this is the history of entomology, taxonomy, morphology, physiology, crop paste, IPM, most plant resistant, toxicology. These are the some of the basic parts. And just like ecology, biocontrol, stored plant paste, beneficial insect, insect vectors, pesticide appliances, these are the applied parts. Why I am dividing this basic part and applied? Because this basic part always already is fixed. That means whatever the work has been done before, you have to just remember and you have to go through the concept. But here in the toxicology, ecology, biocontrol, store brain paste, beneficial insect, you, this is the emerging subject because so many new new things are coming and so many updation is there. So you have to be updated about new concept and new species. For example, I am if I am going to biological control, so many new new types of uh, what new types of parasitoids or predators. Okay are coming under this biological control so for the new new species you have to remember all the things same thing in the insect vector also what is happening new virus strain is transmitted by the new insect uh, biotypes so you have to remember all the things so you have to focus on these things always and for this apiculture sericulture lack culture part also you have to go through it properly so now i am going to i am uh, going to explain about the different uh, books that are very important for this entomology part so first, uh, those who are um, preparing fresh for the entomology JRF, you have to focus on two books first. One is the insect part one and the insect part two. This is the part one and this is the part two. Okay. So what is insect part one and what is part two? I will uh, tell you now. So part one is the insecta and introduction. That means in introduction part, you will get taxonomy, morphology, physiology, mostly these things. Okay. But for the applied part, you will get mostly apiculture sericulture toxicology hpr stored grain paste so this book is very very important so apart from this book and you have to cover these books also but remember you have to think not only one or two times you have to cover these books at least six to eight times then only you can build your confidence for this reading the next books only 
so don't go to don't directly jump to other books without reading this insecta book first you have to go through insecta because most of the fundamental things most of the basic things are coming from this insecta part one and part two so after completing these two books you have to jump to this elements of economic entomology why i'm telling this book is very very important because nowadays coming three four years nowadays they are asking so many questions indirectly not directly from insecta not directly from other books they are direct indirectly asking so from this uh, book you can get these questions uh, in an indirect way that means uh, uh, for example they are asking what are the distinguishing morphological characters for the fa double that means follow remark so by reading all the books you, you may get or you may you may not get but by the reading these two books uh, reading this book uh, you can get a whole of uh, a overall idea for all the insect pests and their morphological characteristics and apart from the ipm also you can get a basic knowledge about the apiculture sericulture and lacculture also okay and next you have to jump to this book this entomology treatise and the entomology refresher so when you are going through this insecta part 1 part 2 triple e side by side you have to prepare for this entomology treatise and entomology refresher okay why i am telling you remember one thing some concept may not be available in this insecta part 1 and part 1 in triple e because so many new new things are added in this in entomology refresher so you may not got the, you may not get these things from these three books but you will get this entomology from this entomology refresher and entomology treatise so you have to uh, go through these two books properly and these two books are mostly compiled by the bullet points of different important important subjects important points so you have to read these two books again and again so that you can remember it properly simply reading by a newspaper you cannot get anything from this entomology treatise and entomology refresher because i am telling you after reading these two books you have to go through different types of object questions then only it will be possible to gain some knowledge then only it will be possible to develop some concept and remember all the things and last but not least the most important book is applied entomology I have told you before for the pesticide appliances, pesticide appliances. So many questions are coming and this is the most ignorant part of this entomology part. Nobody is focusing on this pesticide appliances, but at least three to four questions are coming from this pesticide appliances. What is the boom size? What is this uh, spray formulation size? What is the angle between the uh, nozzle and uh, the spray lens? Everything is coming from this uh, applied entomology part. So you have to go through it properly and this apiculture and sericulture also you can cover nicely from this from this book also okay and now i am coming from the nematology part so going go through this this book this is the basic book for the nematology on its baza that is called as baza zoalia that is the textbook of introductory plant nematology so after completion completing these books properly you can go to this nematology repressor under plant nematology don't directly jump to these two books because without reading this book you cannot remember anything you cannot understand anything from this nematology repressor and nematology, uh, plant nematology because these are already in bullet points and in very precise form you cannot understand anything so for building up your concept you have to go through these two books this uh, introductory plant nematology and for the objective plant objective nematology you have to go this go through this book that is by Deepak, Deepak Kumar Mahanta uh, that is uh, prepared by one uh, IRI MSc student. So this is a very also nice book. You have, you can go through it properly also. So I have told you after reading all the subject books also you have to go through the object books because objective books uh, uh, if you are practicing more and more then only you can uh, can make you more confident for attempting one questions and uh, it will make you easy for analyzing any new questions in the examination hall. So you have to go through these object books also. Okay. So most uh, important object book for this entomology is question bank on entomology by Supriya Vistras. Why I am telling this book is very very important because these books so many old questions are there but new, this, question, this book is compiled by so many new questions, new era questions. That means say, these questions are based on the refreshers. But refreshers. After reading only refreshers you can go, you can attempt these questions. Otherwise it will be very impossible. And other thing, other uh, objective books are this TB Prasad, B Sai Prasad, Bina Case, and Savana Esalda. If time permits, you can go through all the books. If time will not permit, you just go through these two books one, two, and three. That means by Supriya Vishwas, TB Prasad, and Savana Mehaldar, these three books are very, very important. Okay. 
and the last but not the least i am uh, telling you this is the most important part for this getting a good score or good rank in this entomology jrf that is general agriculture okay so you cannot ignore this part because uh, at least 10 to 15 questions are coming from this general agriculture part if you will not go through it properly you may lose your mark and you cannot uh, get a good rank so first book you have you know this namra sunda from the bs first year also you know about these books i will not tell anything about this book and second is the arun katan but my suggestion would be going before going through this namra sunda you have to go through this arun katan book because all things are classified very simply and uh, very simple manner very simple language so you can get your concept from this uh, arun katan volume 1 and volume 2 so after reading all the things you can jump to this namra sunda because in namra sunda all things are in the bullet point so it may be very difficult for you to remember so you can go through by reading arun katan then after you can go to namra sunda and third one is the general agriculture uh, that is uh, by rk sharma so this book is very very beneficial because all the things are compiled in a singular two pages that means if you if you are searching for all the scientists have they have contributed in the field of agriculture you have to go through here and there in the namra sunda part means all things are distributed randomly but in this rk sharma all things are compiled in a very precise manner in one or two pages you can get it nicely so you have to go through it rk sharma at the last part of uh, last part of your preparation okay so by this uh, i am thinking uh, all the books i have covered so uh, just start preparing for all the things and uh, buy all the books and go through it properly but i will be always with you for the preparation i will take classes uh, in a, in a very updated way and uh, i will make you understand very easily but main thing you have to remember you have to only work hard and without your hard work it won't possible to get a good rank or a good, uh, good uh, mark so whatever the problem whatever the doubt is coming in your mind you can ask me directly by whatsapp or in the classes also so i will be very um, happy for that and uh, i will make my i will uh, try my best for the clarifying all the things and i will be always with you so um, be prepared for that and um, and uh, share this video among your friends those who are interested for the icr entomology and so that we can uh, uh, have a very nice classes in the uh, in the coming future and we will try our best for this uh, entomology jrf thank you so much by this i will end up it now thank you